Here we have Icotex Hand Hydraulic Punch Driver. It can look pretty intimidating with all of its parts, but it's actually pretty easy to use. I'm going to show you how to use this guy to punch a round hole in an enclosure so that you can route cables through one of Icotech's KEL DPZ cable entry plates. Let's get started! First, mark where you need the pilot hole to go and drill to pierce your punch material. Next, expand the pilot hole using the drill bit provided for the draw stud. Now it's time to assemble the punch. Locate the hand punch driver. Switch the release valve knob to on following the arrows. Insert the draw stud into the hydraulic cylinder with the short side in. Insert spacer over the draw stud. Select the correct size die and punch for your needs and entry plate. Separate the die and punch. Insert the die on top of the spacer with the hollow side facing out. Push this through the hole you've made in your punch material. Insert the punch blade onto the draw stud that you've stuck through the hole. Make sure the teeth are facing into the die on the other side of the punch material and tighten as much as possible. Now you're ready to crank the hand punch driver until the punch is through the material you shouldn't have to use excessive force. If it is extremely difficult, stop and check the tool. Release should be very easy. Unscrew the punch, set the release valve to off, remove the die, and you'll see the punch material has been split into three parts and can be easily removed. Finally, screw in your cable entry plate, which is so easy it needs no explanation. And you're done. You can find Icotex punch, plates, and more at galco.com.